Welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. My name is Louise Collin. And I'm David M. Harris. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. Sinkhole by George Spain. Evening sun on feather sedge, golden plumes round the sinkhole's edge, broken china mixed with bones, bits of white between gray stones, old barbed fence of rusted wire, wild roses and blackberry wire. Surround this hole as a wall, but still a calf sometimes may fall into this deep, deep sink and die as black, black buzzards circle high. Year after year, things are thrown into this hole as some unknown depth absorbs it all, and so nothing stops the inward flow. Thank God the farmer needs his dump for cans, cars, a useless pump, an old dried out belly band, for a fine horse long gone, and a dead daughter's broken toy, a doll whose face lost its joy. Now this grave of dead machines darkens as the last sunbeams fade and little animals hide from long smooth shadows that glide over these fields at eventide. Henda Jacobs by David M. Harris. Dear Henda, what a surprise. After the trouble I took not to have kids, when you're a little older, I'll explain. A well-loved stepdaughter, the pure pleasure of fatherhood, how much fun it is to be your dad, playing catch, riding bikes, throwing you around a pool, working on your homework, yes, even that. My own dad never learned how to do that, how to enjoy family life. He worked too hard at fishing and camping, trying to love sports, not people. People were beyond him, but he had no one to learn from, not even the TV. Ozzie Nelson and Ward Cleaver set some benchmarks for me. I had to raise my consciousness of long division, soccer, fractions, state capitals, of patience and understanding. You made me a better man. Someday you'll find an even better man. Have kids and teach them soccer, and love, and all the virtues you show me. Where did you get that generosity, that charm, your awkward poise? Another poem of mine, Bible Belter. You must feel safe on this flight. Air marshals, I looked around, but everyone seemed as normal as they could to a New Yorker leaving Nashville, more ties than usual, no beards, more polyester, mostly couples, straight as tightropes. Except for you, he said, the plane is full of Baptist ministers and their wives, she said. Too late to get off the plane, too cheap to buy several bourbons, too honest to say I was Baptist, he asked. And I told him I'm Jewish. He said he'd never met a Jew before living in Florida. He seemed to believe it. Then he asked about my distant cousin, Jesus. We talked about him for an hour or so. He didn't convert me and I didn't convert him, but he started me down the road of Bible study. Next time, I'll be ready for him. Nature by Nessa J.R written when she was 16 years old. I roll through the valley and the fields, succumb to the beauty that I yield. You see me everywhere, but don't detect that in nature, green is perfect. I flow with the ocean, crash against the rocks. I run through the rivers and into most docks. In the sky, I go unchecked, amazing in nature. Blue is perfect. I live in the early morning sun, in fields of daisies. I can't be outdone. You would never suspect that in nature, yellow is perfect. A Simple Point by Jeff Hardin. Once talk became a way of sizing up another's spiritual condition. Once a word or phrase had countless implications. Too many really to decide how best to make a simple point, once nothing said 
could find a sympathetic ear. I walked outside into the leaf-anointed air to wander calmly in my dereliction. Pardoned by moonlight glinting off barbed wire along the back fence row where cattle lowing reminded me how Papa calling out could bring the herd toward him. I grabbed the fence, familiar leg kick up and over. Mute, drawn back, I walked old paths, born again. Freedom by Vera Jaar. Oh, in shimmering self-made cage of steaming jealousy and scourging rage, over possessiveness and growing greed, objects immaterial that steadily feed our ego. Poor souls, thus trapped, open the ugly cage so warped. Out let the pure, pure souls free to be one with loving God Almighty. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon. Thank you.